click the bell icon to turn on notifications. In this video, we will be talking about DuckDuckGo, which is a search engine just like Google. The benefit of using the DuckDuckGo is that you are not tracked. Yes, your privacy is very transparent and you don't get tracked when you use DuckDuckGo. So how do you use it? Well, let's get started with this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the DuckDuckGo search engine as well as I'll show you how to use their extension, which will help you to get more information on what information of yours is being tracked when you visit various websites. So let's get started with this video. So now, as you can see, this is DuckDuckGo's official website. You can go to this URL, DuckDuckGo.com, and then you land on this landing page. Now, if you are visiting this landing page for the first time, you might see some additional options. But one thing which you'll definitely see is this search bar. So this is basically the search bar, which you can use to start searching on the internet from now on, instead of using Google, Yahoo Bing, or in fact, any of the search engines. So now, let's say I'm on this page and I want to search for a Game of Thrones. So I'll just type in the Game of Thrones, and as you can see, now they're showing me results. It's showing me results, which I can go in and explore. The best part is that you are not being tracked. You can see it clearly states, we do not track you, but others do. Learn how to protect your privacy. Now, if you want to go to the top, you can do that. If you want to explore images, you can do that. If you want to explore videos, you can do that as well. If you want to just go for the news part, you can do that as well. If you want to open maps, you'll see all of the options which are available in Google are also available for you here. Then you can see you have these options to select the countries you're from, based on if you want to see some region-specific searches, if you want to make your search child-friendly and you can make it strict, otherwise moderate, otherwise just turn it off. And then you can select the duration of those search results. And then you have some additional settings as well. It's just like you have in Google. So you have all of these options available. You can completely customize your search. How does your search space appear and every link on it? Now, you can see that they have some additional things here in which they are mentioning their own features like having their app and extensions. Then here are some of the things which they've done so far. So all these things are mentioned here. Now you have some additional settings here which are related to DuckDuckGo so you can see, there are so many things here. Now, what's important for us is apps and extensions. So what we're going to do, you can see that this is available to Firefox, app stores, as well as Google Play. Now, since we are using Mozilla Firefox, we'll be adding to the Firefox. Now, this extension is also available on Google Chrome and many other popular web browsers. So what we're going to do is we are going to simply click on Add to Firefox, and this extension will be downloaded instantly. And then on clicking Add, the extension has been now added. So now, whatever I do, I will always be shown that if my connection is encrypted, if there are any trackers found. If the website I'm on is using some good privacy practices, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply type in some URLs to which you might be familiar, and let's see how they work. Now let's go to three websites one by one, and see how the extension reports them. So as you can see, when I'm on google.com, it says I have an encrypted connection. There are zero trackers found, but this page has very poor privacy practices, and I click on it. I will see all the things which they can do. This is how you can make use of all the information on this page. Now you can see that if you want to enable privacy protection, you can get it. This will enable the DuckDuckGo extension to protect at least some of the most important privacy issues. Now the only reason zero trackers are found is because you have the site privacy protection enabled. Now if I disable it, then the page will automatically be reloaded. And now when I go back, you can see that it shows 26 trackers found. So now you know about all the trackers which are found on this website. Now you know why you should not use Google. There are over 26 trackers which are tracking you.
Let's go to some other websites. Let's go to yahoo.com. So I'm on yahoo.com right now. And if I go to DuckDuckGo extension again, my privacy protection is enabled, and that's why it shows zero trackers. But what if I disable it? It will show me there's one trigger found, and they think that one is fine, so they've marked it green. Now, if I go to HBO Max website, then let's do it again. So you can see here are two trackers blocked on this website. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable my privacy protection, and then this page will be refreshed. As you can see now, as well, there are only two trackers found. So I hope you've learned how to use DuckDuckGo, why it's important for you, and why you should start using DuckDuckGo to get more privacy and better control audio searches. Now when I add this extension, this extension automatically also becomes my default search engine. As you can see here, when I search for Game of Thrones, it takes me directly to DuckDuckGo. Now it's completely removed Google, and this is now working as my search engine. This is how you can make use of DuckDuckGo to ensure complete privacy of your searches and your internet browsing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.